Business Today is brought to you by Shouldn't banking start with you? After all, it's your life and we're just one part of it. So no matter what life throws at you, at Scotiabank, we guide you through it with people who actually listen and with services that enable what matters most to you. Because at Scotiabank, it starts with you. This is Business Today, I'm Marlon Madden. Private sector officials have largely welcomed Prime Minister Mia Motley's June 11 mini-budget. The new budget, which saw the introduction of a number of new taxes, the removal of others, reduced funding and restructuring of some state entities, and the allocation of funds for several infrastructural projects, is aimed at closing the fiscal deficit and driving down the high debt. Chairman of the Barbados Private Sector Association, Charles Herbert, described the budget as a clever one, dismissing any notion that it was one of austerity. This is not a budget of austerity to our population. Everybody in the population is, almost is going to have more income in this coming year than they had before. By the time an SRL comes off, and that's another challenge I'm going to come to, which is our challenge, by the time an SRL comes off, and the public sector gets a wage increase, and the pensioners get a wage increase, there's going to be more income to, to cover the extra costs of sanitation than there is. So this is not, for our population, an austerity budget. Herbert was addressing a joint PricewaterhouseCoopers and Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry post-budget breakfast seminar at the Hilton Resort on Tuesday. Lauding the two-week-old Motley-led Barbados Labour Party administration for its urgency in tackling the island's massive debt of over 170% of gross domestic product or GDP and closing the deficit of 4.2% of GDP, Herbert called on all private sector officials to lend their support. Uh, we've been promised central government and state-owned enterprise reform. Um, if anything, we've been given a signal already by what's happened to BTMI and SSA and QEH, that there's a serious effort to change what our state-owned enterprises cost this country. So I think, for me, I'm going to believe those promises for now. I'm going to believe that I'm going to be actively, that we are going to be actively involved in that discussion. And I think for the next six months at least, we owe it all to really work as if this is going to happen. President of the Barbados Economic Society, Shane Lowe, said he was especially pleased to see new funding models for the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., the Barbados Tourism Product Authority, the Sanitation Services Authority, and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, which entailed fully or partially removing them from the consolidated fund. In addition, Lowe said he was encouraged by the allocation of funding to carry out needed infrastructure development. We've seen some improvement in infrastructure spending. So last year, part of the massive improvement in the fiscal deficit was a reduction in spending on capital expenditure, um, which was about 1.7% of GDP. We contrast that to, let's say, around 2004, and we were spending about 3.4% of GDP. You see that we've, we've cut our budget virtually in half on those things. And those things are very important because you need to maintain your infrastructure to be a competitive tourism jurisdiction. So the fact that CapEx has now gone up to 3.9% of GDP, which is even as high as I've seen it uh, in recent times, is also positive. However, he said the budget did not come without some drawbacks. I suppose some of the drawbacks, uh, the major one would really be, to what extent will this reduce economic growth? Because while the middle, middle class or the high, middle, upper middle income and, and higher income in terms of percentage of the population might be a smaller proportion, possibly, uh, they likely spend more than the lower income persons. And of course, they hire those persons as well. So they might hire a gardener or someone to do housekeeping. Uh, so to what extent is taking more money out of their pockets uh, hurt the same persons that you'd be trying to protect at the same time? And of course, the competitiveness issues in tourism, to what extent does that also have a negative impact on, on tourist revenues? Now for today's financial tip. If you are unable to pay all your taxes at once, it is better to ask your tax agency to enter into a payment plan rather than avoid paying altogether. 
Entering into a plan will help you avoid penalties that could cause you to pay more than you can afford and damage your credit. That's been Business Today. You can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Maldi.